if you're watching this documentary right now on this DVD, Juvenile Situations with Pirate, you know, I'm really meant to be watching it, but it's so important that everybody gets to watch this film. We're giving it out. Shh, don't tell nobody. Everybody that's about to watch this, make sure you pass it on when you finish the DVD. Make sure the man next to you watches it. Make sure he watches it. Make sure everybody watches. Make sure the message gets out there. Free the put, knowledge. You understand? Let's push the message in. Free the like, knowledge. You understand? It, as my brother says, you understand? Be free minded and think for yourself. Don't get caught up in this rubbish. Peace. When I first started this movement, I told AD about it. He was skeptical, but he says to me, No, D boy, if you can set the one order, set it. So I'm still pushing. And like now that you ain't here, bro, it makes it even more real. We ain't promised tomorrow, young man. So let's make the most of today. Rest in peace, Adam Williams. Rest in peace, Adam Williams. Rest in peace, Adam Williams. Roll for my mother, mother, and my family there. Everyone's walking around casual like like zombies, bro. There's fuck, some fucked up shit going on out here, man. And you look around at everyone, and everyone's just normal, like you know, go home, read the papers, watch the news, and just kick back, have a cup of tea, and just get back up, do the same shit again. No one ain't got a passion for this thing like me. On the streets of Birmingham. Tonight, another shooting, another victim. Yeah, probably going on about 15 years now, this um, beef in Birmingham has been going on between Burgers and Johnson's. Three fatal shootings in as many weeks. Birmingham now has the highest concentration of gun crime in the country, with three serious gun crime incidents here every single day. Burgers are like the, the Hansworth guys, in it? And John is at Aston. These are the two notorious gangs in Birmingham. This man had an argument with that man, and that man had an argument with this man. Next thing you know, a punch turned to a stab, a stab turned to a gun. Next thing you know, somebody's shot. If I see you, and I think, hold on, ain't that my man from that area? It's on site. What do you mean on site? On site, you see anyone, just fuck them up. In what way? Fuck them up, man. Kill them, beat them up, stab them up, shoot them. That's what it's come to, a postcode thing. If you're from this area, you're involved. It's just as simple as that. What's the war about? Uh, I don't even know you know. Hear them guns blow in the ghetto for that big or that small dough. Beef burn slow like them blunts and that high joke for my dough. Do you want to show us what yeah, happened? I got stabbed. There. Once there in my arm. Um, gang gang stuff, really. How many of your friends have been stabbed? Or loads, shot? Of, loads of my friends have been stabbed. Uh, loads of my friends have been shot, like. Gotta be very aware of your surroundings. What do you mean? What's like? A lot of people, you see how this is like a kind of main road in hands earth as well? Yeah. A lot of people sometimes drive past here to see if they can see someone from this area to try and pick them off. And it's always constantly just looking over your back. I watch every car that goes past so I know who's in there. A man no tech back chat, man no back a weapon Probably a 4-5 or a Mac 11 And it ain't nothing you could tell them Man no poppy melons and a shot straight to your cerebellum And it's real struggle that I'm repping And I can't see the rats around me, but I can smell them It's a shame that I'm so used to people getting stabbed and getting shot It's a shame, every day I wake up Oh, such and such got shot, you know, oh, I swear that one Cause are we really winning? Are the kids grinning? When shots go off in a man's christening They say niggas don't listen All this black on black Now would there ever be peace? Now that silk's missing, 13's missing Look, See that there? Whoa. And up there? Yeah Slugs <laughs> Right there and right there hmm. Unfortunately I was the target How fast you, you can get You were the target? Yeah 
right here. Yeah. How fast you can get into the alley there. And I'll gun through there. Look at look, look, I've had that from there now. <laughs> I would have been dead. I would have been dead. Aston Homer gone crime, G. You see a man walking, catch him slipping, you run upon him so he don't see him, do what you're doing. Now if you're doing that and you're living like that, then you're going to want to be aware of some people do that to you. You have to be on point, especially if, you, if, you, if you're at the height of it, if you're at the height of shit that's going down. That's a bit oh, very on point. In too deep, now it's heading the wrong way. My closest piece of faded away. I'm trying to get out of the game. These streets can never tarnish my name. I need to leave, but still my heart wants to stay. I'm trying to get out of the game. I'm trying to get out of the game. Mm. Mm. Like you sit here and you mourn about all the people that are gone, and you just think, how many more people have to go because these people have gone? And like, ain't there no way, like, you know, if you could like, ask these people what they really want, like, you, you're never ever gonna get the chance to come back and live, but what would you want? And I guarantee you, half of them will say, you to stop killing each other because you don't want to be here like this. This cannot be living. I don't, I don't believe this is what we were put here to do, just do what we're doing. I think there's more to it than this. So what did you do? Phone Penny up, yourself, to, um... Obviously, you just finished doing the films. I know you had links, connections with some of them burgers and that. So I was um, contacted you to contact Dylan, who's, who's affiliated with burgers. Yes, Flash. Oh, I want. Oh, what are you saying, G? What's up, man? So Shaba called me because I got to know young men on both sides of the conflict while researching my film One Day in 2007. I stayed good friends with Dylan, who played Flash in the film. I got a phone call from Penny saying that a guy named Shaba from the B6 side of town was thinking about, if, is there any possible way where it could be a truce? My first initial thought was, OK, this is against the grain. If my friends hear that I'm talking to somebody from the other side of town or people I'm associated with hear that, they're going to think, yo, I'm dodgy. So my first thought was, do I really want to do it? When I thought to myself, you know something, I've got kids coming up and I've heard them talk about this gang stuff and that, so I'm obliged to. You want to be a gunman, do ya? Just making a film one day, I've got all these little kids running up to me saying, yo, flash, 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 flash. I have to press, I have to put, I, I feel obliged to push this message. You don't want to be like flash. You don't want to be get caught up in that lifestyle. You don't want to be involved in that. Shaba, you made it. Thank you. And how did you feel before the meeting? For the meeting, tell the truth, I was kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. I don't really get nervous like that, but I was kind of nervous. I was thinking this is some different kind of stuff because it's against all rules. It's against, against goals against what I grew up to believe in. Even though it's rubbish, and I know it's rubbish, so for me to go into the room, I'm going to tell the truth, I was kind of nervous thinking, what is this really? And like I said, it could have been a setup. Could have went in there and just could think, yo, there's my man from that side of town. Let's get him in the room. Fuck him up. I wake up every day saying something is not right. Yeah. And I don't know if we're going to get a next chance to come back on the next world and do it again. But or do we need to do it as, as I know, there's only one, there's only one having you. I'm only going to get this one chance in it, brother. Like I said, you're only going to be 10 months, you're only going to be 20 months, you're only going to be 30 months. There's no part yeah. two of this. And next year or next lifetime, bro, right now it's real. Um, I've lost a load of friends, I've load, <laughs> lost a load of people, I've, a load of people around misery and a load of angry people. You're going to wake up in the morning and think, oh, I can't be living like this. It's not a joke. Wanna... Yeah, it's not. It's, you get me? You're done. You're burying your friend and you've done. You're crying. And your bridges, your mom's crying. You can't be living like this, Don. This is crazy. You understand it? Who else can I think of that's going to come up and say, you know what? We have to stop this thing and can actually get to the next side and get back and vice versa. So it's a, it's a good thing for me to be sitting there with Dylan. Yeah. Being able to pass messages and get messages back and forward yeah. to let people know it's not that time. You mm. can't call five men out of college to do this job. This mm. job has to be taken yeah, care of by people that are affiliated, whether yeah. they're out there banging. Look, you need to be able to be around these, these members. Man, are active. In an hour, half an hour's time, I could probably be with a man who's licking off heads and that. That's how real it is, and that. It's, it's a small world. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat>
how are we gonna really do this? And yeah. it kind of like he hit me. And like I says, it, this could like I says it could be more. It could like a, it could put money in problems. I'm not gonna lie. Some hard people hard might not like it. Hard. It's hard. It's gonna be hard to get through. Well. I don't get paid for yeah, this, there's yeah, no reward. Yeah, there's no, the only thing that could come of this is someone could say, fuck him for that, yeah. and we lighten him up. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I know my heart's in it, and yeah, I believe if man don't do it, no one's going to do it, and that, and we got to try and do it, even if mm. nothing comes of it. At least when they mention burgers, Johnny's or war, they'll know that at least there's man out there yeah, that, that are thinking, trying, you know what, yeah, that, 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 that I try and do something. Man can't ever tell me I'm not trying to put my life on the line for my community. That little thing there, what we did yesterday, is bigger than what anybody could imagine. Just for us to sit down and have spoken, do you understand it? And to have been, I've sent the message that way, and he sent the message his way. Are we meeting someone I know, Dylan? Or... Um, I don't know if you've met. How old is he? 26 now, but as far as I can remember, he's always been around it, so. Right now, the kids need to understand that the war ain't arguing over nothing. All of this is over nothing. That's the scary thing about it. If there's going to be some form of peace or whatever you want to order. call it, you then yeah, order. order. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, I'm willing to try. I just can't see it being like I don't know, man. I'm not saying we're gonna, it's, it's gonna be straight peace like that, but I'm saying it them not like, holler that penny, you know. But when like, this is what I'm trying to keep saying to you. you see when you say them not. Like, All right, then I said an individual, yeah, an individual. That individual day. He's not valid. Yeah, I hear that. I, I hear need to hear it from someone who I know deep down inside my heart that is up to no good. But he's saying right now there's an active man that are involved in the thing and there's a man that are doing stuff on road and they've given me, they've said it from their heart, brother. If you can stop this thing, stop it, innit? These motherfuckers are not stupid. Mm -hmm. They're not stupid. So they can be saying all that because they want to get involved and stuff. They want to get their fingers dipped in certain little situations that okay. otherwise they couldn't have. Would you talk to your enemy to set us free? Or just wait for the 5 to give you the key? Cos ten men getting 30, that was injustice. When it was war, they taught us to bust this. How can we come together cos they don't trust us? Where's the loyalties? There's no love left. Ride and die for niggas till there's no fogs left. Then bust the guns till there's no slugs left. Cos the government's having a party and they're calling it Illuminati. It's Boxing Day. There's been a shooting in town. I'm gonna phone trap and see what I can, what I can do and try and sort the situation out, innit? Well, no, I'm going to go right now because we're here, innit? So well, if you're free, you can link up. Retaliation is what I'm worried about. Even though meeting in town could be dodgy, before this escalates and turns into some next big drama, Shabra and I have agreed to hook up for the second time to see if we can sort this out. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be making the youths wind you up, though. Obviously, but yeah, man, you've been around, yeah. You've been around long enough to know blood. You can't be making, it's like a little brother winding you up and you're saying, you're carrying, I'm going to beat you up. And he's winding you up too, too. You just say, you know what, fuck him up. You can't be making man bring you down to their level to have you in some youth man activity, blood. See, since man, I met up and that, nothing ain't really happened. Couple little minor things, but nothing on the scale of how fucking last year was, blood. With this, this heat wave of shooting and that, blood. Because the next man dies now or the next shot goes off, but it's just going to get messy again. I could get five man done and you could get five man and they could all sit there all day and say, yeah, but you done this and yeah, but you done that and yeah, my budget this and my... I'm saying, if we just stop it, blood, just fuck it off, you get it, blood? Fuck it off, innit? And it's like, go through a bit, on. <clears throat> this conversation's never been had. In the, how many, how many 15, 20 years this gang thing's been running, this conversation's yeah. never been had. And so what were people suspicious? What were people, they saying? People saying that suspicious we're that we're doing it, we've got an ulterior motive, it's either yeah. to get money to or get it's money, money yeah. or, it's yeah. or, or, yeah. or is the police involved somewhere along the lines? And there's loads of little things that, they, that people are wary about. Yeah. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, I'm advising you. Yeah. So don't, don't be mad at me or nothing, or don't, don't think I'm trying to pull no stunts, or it's yeah. not no money scam yeah. or no yeah. ski. Yeah. This yeah. is for all of us in the long run. They don't seem to understand why we do want to do it, and that's the problem, man. But we're going to show them the bigger picture, bro. Like I said, we're going to keep it moving, we're going to keep pushing. 
This is the black hole I cross over it. Judged by the way we walk. And close friends get killed for the way we talk. You build up so much anger, you're supposed to know that this world don't owe you anything. Cause we was born to lose, but built to win. You're not supposed to talk to the enemy, as people would say, but. I don't look at them as my enemy and that. The life I live in that, government, police, the way the system works, I don't look at them as my enemy. If, 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 if the people that I've got a problem with, then fair enough, but I wouldn't say it's my enemy. Like, I'd rather get up and go and kill a policeman to, to, to tell the gods on his chief. I'm more angry at them, you know, than, than, than them. I'm not really mad at. And I, I think if you put all these mans together and make them have to fight a cause like the Lazal's riots and put them, make them have to fight a cause together. I reckon that's what will bring everyone together again and um, make people appreciate each other. That's what I'm saying. Serving of love all the way around. Yeah, he it. knows what it is already. Yeah, I don't have to say no more. He knows what it is. I'm from the older generation where my, my grandma, I used to, I used to follow my grandmother with, with shopping and you have to say hello to every black woman and every woman. See, this is a, here's a big man right here, so you know, this, this, this is the man that owns the, the dumpling shop up the road, Sovereign's Calf. Um, this is a documentary that we're talking about, like, resolving the gang situation in Birmingham. Talk to them, man. Tell them what you think about what's going on with this gang situation and how it was back in your day as well. My days were proper. <laughs> Life was ever so simple. Yeah. We didn't fight each other. Stop lying, man. You fought the teddy boys, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but we didn't fight each other. You know, we, we think about love. Valid you music and love and girls. So in the riots, the, the ones in 85, do you yeah. remember those? I, I mean, remember, I'm I remember both of them. them. <laughs> I remember both of them. Because then people were fighting the police and the National Front. They weren't fighting each other. No, no, they weren't fighting each other. Yeah. It, was the, it was the police. The people were just fed up with society. Yeah. You know, so nothing was happening, so people just burst out one night, the police. When police lost control of a half-mile stretch of road in Handsworth, the neighbourhood was reduced to a blazing inferno. The police were powerless to stop it. The orgy of destruction that followed made it look like something out of the Blitz. The tragedy is that it's come after so many years of very good community relations here with absolutely nothing to indicate that this would happen. It is pure, uh, naked hooliganism uh, running on into outright violence and theft. Two days after having one of the best carnivals that we've ever had in the city, and it would appear through insensitive policing again, we are now struck with this silly problem. We, the bigger generation, they were fighting for a cause, a real cause, which was, you know, to get rid of racism out of Birmingham, you know what I mean? But it was never no Kill, kill black on black crime. Black black We're arguing crime. over postcodes that don't belong to us, street corners that don't that belong have, to us. That we you have, have to pay council tax, tax for. We, we don't own these roads. You're fighting for a postcode. You own, you, do, you own a postcode. No, you don't. I was nine, like you were saying, trust is the, what did you say? Trust is the um, luxury. Yeah, it is, man. You trust is luxury because you can't, you, you're around here, you, tr you can't trust in anybody. A lot of people let you down. You trust anybody in anything that makes you vulnerable. You have to stay paranoid to be on point, and it's horrible. been sad for a long time, Penny, that's what I'm saying, man. A lot of heartache, a lot of things. Right now, it's, it's not that bad. Like I said, there's times where you don't even want to be driving up and down on the road like this. <laughs> you understand it? You know, when it's when it's peak and it's fully on shops. You understand it? There's times where you don't want to really be on the road. You'll get the call saying, yo, the, you get me? The yeah, people like the big gangbangers on the road driving around like how we're driving around looking for someone to look down so you don't come on the road so you don't become a victim. Mm -hmm. It gets like that. To tell the truth, it's been kind of hell. People are falling out with each other, saying I'm trying to get to Hollywood by making a documentary. There's been beer arguments. People are saying you're working with the police, but we haven't been able to film any of this madness because the man don't want a lot of cameras in the hood. It's all good me having my opinion and saying what I want to say, but without me backing it, don't really make no sense, you understand it? Like I said, I, I can say what I'm saying, but for me to reach out to the elders, for me to hear what they're saying, the man ain't gonna listen to me because they'll say, D-boy, what's your, we don't, you, your opinion don't really count like that, so I need somebody with some weight in this thing to back me on it. To me the boss, I pay the cost, I nearly ruined my life. Wasted years.
years in the penny, something new in my life. For all the dirt and the shit I've been through in my life, I should be stuck in jail doing a life. Touchdown in H-Town, no more confined to a cell. A lot of niggas acting hard, it's being grimy as well. Never seen a prison yard, I've done no time in a cell. This for my gangs to do it time with a L. Look, how to find a prison, how for you? Virgin Zilla, because just come out of the penna, he's a original burger bar. He's been doing this thing from the get-go. He's just done eight years in jail. Now, this brother is influential. Car people listen when he speaks. This is the prison right here. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be ending up behind that wall. So they accused you of, of, of trying to kill a policeman, yeah, or was that? Times two, trying to kill two of them. I was on two attempted murders of the police. That was my original charge. It's attempted murder times two on two officers. Um, but I had to drop it to a lesser charge. So they couldn't prove that I tried to kill nobody. I tried to say I tried to shoot one of them. Yeah, and the gun jammed. And then I took the same gun and tried to shoot the next one. And the gun jammed. But if the gun's jammed on one person, how can I attempt to kill someone again? It was just a load of shit, really. I got eight years, eight and a half years. Which I've done eight years out of it, more or less. I've been jailed enough times, but this time now I try to really learn something from this. When I get out, obviously, I'm gonna do something right, and it. You know, the place is a mess. So my priority was if I can try and make one little difference in the hood where I come from, then that's an achievement to me, you get what I'm saying? If I can deter one person from ending up in there where I ended up, that's an achievement for me and it's so that's that's what I'm on in it. See, but a lot I got a lot of friends that are left in jail still, you get me and I feel their pain because man's here, some of them ain't gonna get to experience this. You understand what I'm saying? Zilla has agreed to support the movement 100%, but he's asked us to highlight the case of his four friends who are doing life after a high-profile trial. The thing people remember most about Burger Bar and Johnson's is the tragic killing of Letitia Shakespeare and Charlene Ellis on New Year's Day 2003. This has got to end. My daughter's life was cut short by this killing. A part of me died when Letitia died. This is as bad as it gets. Please help. Please help. Two wrongs don't make a right. My friends are identified by an anonymous witness, and Marcus Ellis got 35 years based solely on his evidence. I don't think we've really taken on board <clears throat> what a serious step it is to allow witnesses to give evidence anonymously in our courts, speaking in Dalek voices through voice distortion equipment, shielded from the view of everyone in court, sometimes even defending counsel. You're not allowed to ask another witness if the anonymous witness was even present at the scene. You can't check. What I've got is, is the prison records that were made available to the court uh, of Mark Brown, who is the anonymous witness. He's at Brinsford at the detention centre. And you're saying in June that the Johnson boys are after you. They've actually attacked you. You were seen wandering out of some toilets, dazed and bleeding, with your clothes torn. Does that ring a bell? And he says, yes. So then Nigel Rumford says, the idea of cooperating with the police started to become rather attractive to you, didn't you? Yeah, of course. As soon as um, he started cooperating, he was moved from Brinsford to a different prison. Yeah. Vulnerable people and stuff, when they find themselves in that situation, do anything they can do to get out of that situation. Jail, it's not a nice place. You understand what I'm saying? Your life, you give your life away to the place that, you know, it's not nice. When you visit the scene, you begin to appreciate how unbelievable the evidence that that witness gave uh, uh, is. The party was here at uh, these premises. Mark Brown, the anonymous witness, um, claimed that he came out for fresh air and uh, the vehicle drove along the service road with tinted windows, discharged uh, a firearm, um, sadly killing uh, the two 
uh, young girls. This was uh, around about 4 a.m. Um, at the very beginning of January. So it would still have been uh, intensely dark. So Mark Brown claimed that he could clearly identify four men wearing masks in a moving car with heavily tented windows in the middle of the night while a machine gun was firing. It's uh, a matter of a split second for the vehicle to go past the uh, relevant positions. It would be quite impossible to identify anyone in that vehicle. He then refuses to at attend an identity parade. It's the same guy that's saying that you can't point these people out in an ID parade, that's saying that he pointed out that you could see these people in a tinted out car you know, with masks on <laughs> in the middle of the night. Understand? I bet you can't go into a room where the people are yeah, bright as yeah, fuck. Great. You understand? Yeah, and right, you can see yeah, their whole face yeah. and everything, and you can't yeah. put them out there. I don't know how people feel about it, but it's, it's, it's wrong, isn't it? Okay, it's wrong, isn't it? It's just blatantly wrong, isn't it? Because my friend had the gang marker was stitched off in a way that wouldn't happen to anybody else if you didn't have this gang marker. So your car that you drive is gang-affiliated, your house, OK, gang members go to this house, everything becomes gang-affiliated. And when you go to the court of law now and that word gang comes up, it gives them powers to use acts that they've created just to go against gang members. The reason it started is because there is a great deal of witness intimidation, and there's no doubt about that. It does go on. There are gangs in our inner cities now, gangs with access to firearms, which is not something that used to be as widespread as it is. And there is a genuine problem. But in my view, it's a problem primarily for the police, whose relationship with certain minorities in the inner cities has broken down in recent years. And it's a problem for politicians to sort out questions of social cohesion, which make it so difficult for people to give evidence. What you can't do is address a social problem like that by throwing away a thousand years of legal history and the protection of the rights of the accused by having unfair trials to combat social problems. It's not a remedy. Marcus gave me that first phone call and said, Mum, they said, he said, Mum, I found me guilty and we both cried together. He says, Mum, Sometimes when you're in your cell, in the cell, the realization just hits you right in your face that you're here. And um, he even said to me that he visualized himself in nursery and then school and primary school and then secondary school. And then he said to this, and it just kind of just knocked him for six. On the, on, on the streets of Birmingham. Zilla was cool that we agreed to highlight the case, and he used his influence so that we could bring cameras into the hood for the first time. Cameras are no go in my community, especially when we're talking about gangs and whatnot. So today's kind of monumental, really. What about Unuka? Unuka, you're 17. You're 16. Were you 15 today? 16 today? You're 17 today? No, I'm glad you're getting old, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Big ass youth, because old, man. You're 17. Stand up next to me, bro. <laughs> you're 17, bro. You're going to eat it around here, bro. <laughs> so, have you seen the other side of town that ain't from here? Are they, are they seen as, like, enemies or just, like, what, what, what's the take on it? Now, it's that bad. Half of the men can't even go to town. They yeah. have to go to town in a group. And the police don't like that. Yeah. See? So, 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 if you go to town in a group, Please don't look at the joy, yeah. You're drawing more attention to yourself. So, you know what I mean? You don't even want that, you just go in there to buy some clothes. When once you reach a certain age, you ain't going to Newtown and they, they don't know you, so when they see you thinking, who's this? Who's this? You could be on it, but they don't know this, you understand it? Yeah, yeah everybody's just like no I said, everybody's defensive. All that post call shit, it's a bag of bullshit. It's a bag of, it's a bag of bullshit, bro. I don't rep nothing that owns to the government. You understand it, bro? You understand it, everybody, and it's the truth, man. I was there from day one. I helped start all of this shit, man. Started all of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? So it's my job to try and try and fix it. Innit? I won't feel right in myself. Otherwise, we're bringing the hood together. We're stopping the fucking hood. You understand what I'm saying? All right, yeah. all right. Say it like this. Say 50 man. Say yeah, forget it. Mm. But one man out of that 50 man, something happens from the past. No one's not going to be back on this. Everyone's going back to what they was doing before. Innit? 
No one's not sticking to what they was doing. Mm. It's going straight back to what it was before, bro. If a man thinks he can push my button, then that's where he's gonna fuck up because I'm gonna make an example out of him. I ain't allowing for anyone to think that I'm a chump. Cause this is, this can't work like that, bro. It just can't, it just don't make no sense, bro. A man violates me. That's one nil to him. You go and look down the man. You think it's one nil to you, but he's dead. Well, at the end of the day, you're on the, on the run. Eventually, you're gonna get catch for the thing. When you get catch for the thing, you're fucked. Calm you understand? Up, you're gonna be sitting down. How have you won? Your life's fucked, you know? There's no winners in this thing. That's what man needs to understand. We're not meant to be warring like this, bro. Forget burning him in anything. We're young men, black brothers. Fair enough, but. When they see you, even so, you want to stop whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, bro. Want. But you I'm, know, I'm, you know I'm, yeah, what's yeah, gonna bro. Happen, but that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna stand. So I'm gonna like, have to be a man. That's what I'm saying. I have to be so a man what? and say. So what? All right, you all right, to get right then, bro. Nah, 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 nah. But this I'm showing you. I'm not saying that. That's why we have to big elders. We have to link up with their elders and talk to all our youths, and they have to talk to their youths. Don't think it's just us on this side doing this. Um, we're yeah, this yeah, over yeah. there as well. So man, have to put this order in place. Even with having Zilla out, it's been kind of a mission. But Shaba. He ain't got no support. Hey yo, I try to stack a million. My life ain't brilliant. Code name Simbo, birth name Simeon. Get money, how you can as my opinion. Grab your get a rubber. No and there's loads of man them over there, so he's got loads of man against him. I've heard some conversations and he's been on the phone line. I can hear the background and it sounds like a madness. So for him to keep pushing, I have to respect it, man. Yeah, people are like, no, I think mean, people are like, fuck the truth of that. Too much things that happen in it, too much bad things that happen. Smell me, I ain't had a wash for two days, cause I'm out on the street, trying to move these two K's, I'm grimy, I'm in it, I'm cool. No one don't want a truth. Man don't, man raw, don't want a truth. Man don't mind having beef. Man don't mind. We don't, the life that man are living now, we don't care. Man don't care about what it is, what it is, isn't it? Yeah. When you come into man and you're talking about truth and this and that, blood, man are just looking at you thinking, yo, you chatting shit, blood, you're a dickhead, blood. When I see my man, I'm going to fuck him up. When I see this man, I'm going to fuck him up. This is what I'm wondering if it's going to save a couple of youths growing up in the future. Then they'll respect me when you're dead. They'll remember me, blood, for what I was about and what I was trying to do. If we all got together today and said, yo, the beef between Burger Bar and Johnson's is done, it's dead. Nothing, nothing ain't changed. It's just that. Not for us, it would, but for the youths, it would. Why, is it, why do you think it would change for the youths? They're still going to be seeing the same shit. They're still going to be going through the same shit. It's just that Johnson's and Burgers haven't got beef. These little youths in Aston, their own beef. these little youths in Aston will probably have beef with them little youths in Newtown now. And because the mentality is still there. Every little nigger in my ends is on this thing regardless. Not, they don't, probably don't even know after them and them, but they're done, they're repping this thing. Your phone will say, you're coming, they'll be more than happy. They'll feel like, wow, the phone me to come. You understand, I'm rolling, you understand it, but they're passionate about it. Passionate about what, bro? Going to jail and dying. G. That's what we might have to push this thing hard, you know, dog. When I was a kid, that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be one of the hardest niggas on the road. I wanted to be a gangbanger. I wanted to sell drugs. That's what I wanted to do, because that's what I've... That was, that was the life, innit? When I was growing up, my dad went, my pops weren't there. So obviously, where I learned to, to, to do my thing or whatever is on the road. So obviously, I'm going to be a road man, because that's a, the, all the, the, all the, the only niggas that have showed me anything of, is road man. I've been gangbanging since I was about 13, bro. So I don't know nothing else. So when you tell a man, oh, stop, so, what are you doing? You get me, man, is saying, this, this is the norm now. It's not even a bad thing to us. It's just normal. normal. It's life. It's not even bad. <laughs> See, right now, this is about the senseless killing, the idiot thing. The end of the day, half these youths are jumping on this thing. They don't know what this thing's about. You understand what I'm saying? What they're repping? What, what are half these people repping? Ask them what's it about. You understand? They don't know. We don't know nothing else. Yeah. I mean, you don't know nothing else. No. You don't know nothing else. How, how much of us have been suspended from school or expelled? Every week. Yeah. Like Everyone in it. Yeah. Everyone in it. We're 12, 13. We don't have a dad. So now we're suspended. We don't need to go back to school. The school don't want us. So why are we going to go back to school? Now we're seeing money. We're seeing things going, all the people making money. Well, we want that. You get me? We're lost in it. We've just come, we've come up lost in it. And that's all. That's what it boils down to. Bro. We need to be growing young black men, not no niggas. We need to be growing young black men in it, bro. So you hate it or love it, blood. You're on the internet, Zimbo. You get a hundred thousand hits, bro. You're a role model, B. So you, you, you're responsible. So you get me. Regardless, man, are responsible for our actions and for the kids coming up. So I'm gonna have to think like that as well, in it, blood. 
I've got seven boys, you know, dog. My biggest boy is nearly 30, I'm 14. Bro, he said to me when I said I'm going to speak to Shabba the first time, he said, you're mad, Dad, you're going to ask them. <laughs> Do you understand? You know, you know, that kind of scared me, no blood. Imagine that, the, my, my son said that to me. Imagine, imagine how that scared me, like, yo, you know, man, no, he's giving the goosebumps now, bro. Look at my hand, goosebumps now, even thinking about it, bro. Like, yo, I've seen it, you know, bro. You know, I've seen man look dark. I've seen my brethren leaned up. I've seen my man twisted up. I've seen my man fucked up. I've seen man in jail doing life. I've seen it, you know, bro. And imagine why you could ever fall into that. Are you crazy, bro? Man, I have to do something, bro. I don't even think the system's fucking us. I think we're fucking ourselves. We're fucking bro. ourselves, bro. You know, it's, yeah, like, it's not even the system, though, bro. We're like, oh, the system, bro. the government, it's ourselves. Bro, bro. that's 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 kind of like you see, you see blaming people. That's all wasted energy, bro. Let's make it happen, innit? I'm saying if man deal with the real issues that are really, what's really going on, I'm passionate about that. That's what I'm passionate about. Changing the way niggas think. Changing mm. the way niggas. Changing the way we're living in it. Because you're coming at man with this, um, with the truth thing. Man ain't here. Man ain't listening to another word you gotta say. All of this conflict resolution stuff is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> James Pennell, who's actually producing this documentary, is the next MP. James says he has somebody who could help us or give us some advice. This person is Jonathan Powell. He helped broker the peace treaty in Northern Ireland. One of the things I did was doing uh, Northern Ireland peace talks because you remember when, when Blair came in in 97, it had all gone back to violence again. The IRA started killing and the big bomb in Canary Wharf and a bunch of bombs in Northern Ireland. And we, um, Tony Blair managed to get them back into, into peace talks. And then quite quickly, in about a year, we got them from there to the Good Friday Agreement where they finally signed off on a, a peace agreement. And I guess that's kind of what you're facing because if you're going to... Mm -hmm. Make this stop after all these years. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be something you do in like two or three weeks. It's something that's going to take a very, very oh, long oh, time. That we're not a threat to the government in terms of we're not going around shooting police. That make it harder for us, whereas the government could look and think, well, um, they're not bothering us, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think that's probably part of the problem. Yeah, that's that's what what it's killing each other. Why would we care? You know, they, they, they would like it to stop, but they're not going to invest in it as a way of stopping. So you'll have to do it yourself. These, some of these mans are hard work, man. It's hard work, ignorant, nothing to live for, nothing to look up to, no role models in their lives, so it's, it's hard to get through. It's been this way for so long, it's what they know, it's what they go to bed for, what they wake up for, they're just comfortable in that, they don't see no need for no change or nothing like that, so the hard part is basically getting a vision across of the bigger picture of like, you know, what we really should be doing. What I worry about is this whole issue of, of looking like you're surrendering, because that's always a problem in these circumstances. How you persuade both sides this is the big man thing to do is not to shoot someone, it's to actually um, draw a line now and we're just not going to have anything from now on. And something will happen and you need some way of defusing it. What they do there in North Belfast, on one side there's a leader called Jerry Kelly, who used to be in the IRA, who escaped from jail three times, once in Ireland and twice in British jails. And Jerry Kelly at one stage had to sit stand holding back a whole crowd of young Catholics who wanted to attack. And some of the more crazy ones started shooting at him rather than at the police or at the, the loyalists. So he had to really put himself on the line to stop that stuff happening. I guess my warning to you is the first steps are easier than the, than the further on and you start losing faith in it. I just urge you to keep faith and, and to, to have patience in doing it and, and absorb a certain amount of pain in, in doing it because you'll have to. But it's really, really worth it because you can, you can change it, you can make it. Are you not part of the solution, you're part of the problem in it and I know I know where your head's at though, I know that you know, I know yeah you're, you're on this team and you're a down nigger but at the same time I know that you would like to do something like get involved in something like this blood. People are really trying to help us so and that's what I want you to know blood. I, I, I ain't gonna bullshit you, that's why I want you to come to the meeting to see for yourself and that. These are proper MPs, people that rub shoulders with Tony Blair and Parliament and proper big people blood. So if that's not good enough for you to say where you're from the hood and these are the people that, you know, like they say, forget to talk to police or anyone, bring the Queen down, I want to talk to direct, you know, how, how high up do you need to be going, but who do you want to get your message across to? And these people are prepared to help us, and all man are saying is, oh, fuck that man, fuck that man, they're trying to this and that. You shouldn't look at it like that, but I don't know, fam. Yeah. <laughs> the next time we see my face, we could have like 40 man, right, who knows? So what? One thing will open the door to another thing. Right? Opportunity and it's something. What do you want to happen now? Do you not want to get involved, blood? Seriously. 
But it's don't keep saying I'm doing my thing, blood, cause cause it's not my thing, blood. You already know I'm having problems on this side, but talking to man, no one listens. That's us. I need support. They man, they got their team mapped out, blood, but over this side, it was like nah and this and that. So I'm saying I don't know what you want me to do, blood. So I said I need someone like you or Nug, sharp, someone to help me back me up, blood. Come and see what's going on. If you think there's money, sit here on the table and you get the money as well, then then if that's what you believe, you know, as long as you're here, it's not gonna harm you, blood. I didn't say no one ain't gonna harm you, blood. Who said that? Who's who's who said who said anything about harming you, blood? No, I didn't say that. It, did I say that no one ain't gonna harm you? I said, well, what am I gonna say? Someone gonna harm me for blood? I said it's not gonna harm you to come down. That's what I said. Who? What are you on about, blood? I'm saying I'm blood. I'm saying. Different days, same shit when I'm waking up Lying in my bed wishing that I never woken up I got this father that I never ever see And the only time I see this little prick is in my dreams Every day I'm wondering, has he forgot about me? Every night I'm on my knees asking God why me? Mom don't want a son to be taken by the streets But this is the life of Lee So it's kind of beat wondering people will miss me When I'm six feet deep, tossed in my grave Cause I can't rest in peace, suck up so much demons surrounding me So I call a most high to come and rescue me Today we're going to speak to the youngest Who are my son's friends They've all got friends who have been stabbed But nobody's actually died They haven't got the pain and don't feel that revenge yet So we have to get to them before it's too late you're aware of what's going on in it, and you, I know you're getting slowly but surely. It's close to in it. You go slowly, to B6. Slowly. I look over my shoulder in this area. Yeah, yeah. Every three to four seconds. Uh, I ain't trying to wish no death on that. Anyone, anything could be around the corner, really. Anything, anything could be around the corner. How old are you? How old are you like? 15. Like. 15. That kind of age group there. You understand what I'm saying? So, like. What you know about growing up on the ends? Like, oh, all cool. the beef, the, the man, them, the boy, them, and yeah. Oh, Start yeah. to like know about it from like year seven onwards. Year seven, that's what I'm saying. Eleven and everything. That's the same with Unala as well. Mm. My bedroom got stabbed the other day. Mm. Yeah, over there, yeah. the gang stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's in um, Aspen or something. Yeah, Aspen. Mm. So I was just saying. Mm. You could go to that area, but if you get caught slipping, then. Because of uh, the pride as well. You gotta mm, keep the pride. Keep pride. Mm. Probably die for my pride. That's why it escalates. <laughs> if, say something happened to my men here, then obviously us men will all go back. You escalate, and then obviously if we do something to them, they're gonna do try to do something to us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like if he had a fight or he got rushed, I'll go back there straight away, not thinking. Mm, Even if think. it's just us two and there was like ten of them, I go there probably it might die or whatever. Mm. That's what I mean. You just don't think, can it? You just do it. You don't hesitate to do things. It just happens. The thing is, they can't they can't afford guns. It's not that easy to get guns, regardless of what people think. So they've all got knives, little knives, and they will poke you up with it. And, and these kids don't understand. You poke the wrong archery, and that's it. You will bleed to death unless you make it to the hospital in seconds. You understand? It's impossible. Don't you think that's a waste of life? Yeah. It's, I don't see it as a waste of life, it's just... I don't know. That is life. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. it's just, it's like, it's just a way of life that we know. After filming on that day, I had phone calls. There were still people that wasn't too happy with what we was filming. And some people didn't understand what the message was. So it made them kind of hostile to what we was doing. If we don't get through certain mindsets and stuff, it can be a serious thing. You understand? I mean, you know, I'm not worried for myself because I'm not saying I'm super my no one can't shot me or whatever. Anyone can get killed, anyone can get shot, but I ain't worried for myself like that, car. 
I, I, don't, I don't know, but I, I worry for him. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, if people come to get God, like, he will be the target. 100%. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know. Man I, told, I told the man on the phone, he said, listen, tell the way, I'm kidding. I ain't calling no names on them, but man, you know. Mm. And like, real? If man is about to place in a hand like this, you've got the whole wood like this in your hand, yeah. you say jump and everybody say how high. Mm -hmm. And that's the reality of it, so that's why it's up to man to be responsible and make your things right, innit? Kind of hit kind of a brick wall. Like, my mum's windows got smashed out. And like, the night before, like, a boy, like, a 17 year old, like, kind of died. So, I don't know about all of this true right stuff. Now, right now, basically, the, the true thing, like, it's, it's not going to happen, and it? Like, it's, it's long. You know, we are, whoever did it knows it are, innit? They kept business, and. Bang business, Medrid. Bang business. You understand what I'm saying? Look at the size difference. I don't know. This is why they try to pick on Nico D boy. And then for you get me, but you so know, like I said, some little girl, this girl, and then some girl business, and then like I said, then the day, they didn't even pick up me. They went to my mom's house, my mother's house. I don't even live there. <laughs> You've gone to my mom's house. Do you understand it? So for what? Now the big issue is that you died the night yesterday night. I woke up in the morning at seven o'clock. The first thing my son said to me was that a boy's got killed, my friends got killed. These are the kind of things we're trying to prevent, and, and, and it's just going on. And right, it's just right, going on right in front so of us, know. and right, it's just roaring. It's kind of a lot. Just had a little plan in it, try to do something that thought was going to benefit everyone, but obviously yeah. some people don't see the vision. We, we we just want a better future for the youth coming up. We don't want them jumping on the bullshit that we jumped on. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? We need to uplift that. ourselves and do something. You understand what I'm saying? Look around, like black. We don't own nothing. Look on Rascal, look on the Enso Road, all them places. Niggas don't own shit. You understand what I'm saying? Man wanna, you know, man wanna inspire the youth to be something. So, you know, when we get to them ages, like, their own shops, they got that mind on them where they say, you know what, why should I go on the road? Why don't I go to college? Why don't I aspire to be something? What we're doing, Dylan, is we're gonna walk over to, over by that dome and meet the kids. Where's the rest of you guys? I'm there with the king. Like I said, like the day before, a couple of days ago, when I was saying, like, talk to the kids before one of their friends die or something, but now these kids have got that in them. They killed my friend. The boy's got a reason now. Every time you try and tell them something, they're going to tell you, but he killed my friend. So, man. When people in normal society get murdered, there's a whole campaign, there's rewards put up. But when people in my community get murdered, it doesn't even make the news. You're just dead. We saw you two days ago, and nothing had happened then. It's really shocking. I'm a friend, friend, friend. Shaim, Shaim. You got fucking. Stabbed for he owed him money for some reason. Do you know the story? Nah. Like he hit one of his main arteries and he bled out, bled out too much. Like five pints of blood. How did you hear about it? Oh, I'm BB. Like everyone just kept putting up like RAP Shaim and RAP chicks. But I thought like it was a joke thing at first. To all the people on BB, this should be a wake up call to you. Rest in peace, Shai. What does that make you feel like you want to do or think? It's a real life, isn't it? Is it a game? It's a real life. Life ain't a game. Mm. Yeah. Scary, bro. To be fair, real talk, I might be involved in a gang thing, really, but it's all about money. But I wouldn't like, just because I'm from Anzal, I wouldn't want one of them to come bully me because I'm are from Anzal. We're not punks. But uh, you told me it was about girls and wanting to, every girl likes a tough boy. No, that's like part No, that was back, that was back, that was, that was, that was back in the day. <laughs> God, God. It was about, to me, I was trying to look cool for girls. So, I throw, I throw a gang sign. Back. 
just to impress I, the girls, isn't it? But now, but now you're now. growing up thinking girls are just Realize, but, but girls, girls are just shadow to me. I walk and lift them. I don't chase them. I replace them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I chase them like socks. <laughs> After Shaheen was murdered, there was four days of violence. Stabbings and shootings, not connected directly to Shaheen, but the violence was terrible. There was a shooting and a two-year-old girl was trampled on as people tried to escape the gunshots ringing out. That's what the tech said, the kid, the, the uh, two-year-old or three-year-old that got trampled is in critical condition. That's what the, the tech said, but I don't know. That was like, they must have heard the gunshots and everybody ran, or the buggy must have fell over, the kid tripped over and while everybody's running, because it's dark as well in the outside. They probably never even know. So in the last four days, so how many shootings and stabbings has there been? It's been like a couple, I've heard a couple shootings, and I've heard, I've heard the one, well, I've only heard of like the one stabbing as a fatality, but I've heard of a couple shootings. I've heard a couple stabbings because somebody's arm got, arm, leg got severed, I don't know. That was nothing to do with gangs or nothing, but I did hear it. A young man's arm and leg got severed, but it was hanging off, so I don't know the full ins and outs of that, so there's been, there's a lot. Now, how many things do you know about that happened in the last few that, days? That, that stabbing in it, someone died over there, stabbing, and a shooting in a club over there. Right, I don't, I don't know how much people got shot. I've heard five, I've heard four, but I just know people got shot. I'm just stating the facts, talking about reality. Holy for casualties, bag of fatalities is fucked up. But this is the life we live. This ain't the type of life that you want for your kids. Little young tongue screaming out, dog fuck the pigs. Four inch dressing cause you can't bag kids. It's mad how the speeding in. Being in a situation, being in the wrong place at the wrong time, kind of mess up your whole life. What do you mean? I've known Moses all of his life. He's a lovely lad. He's never been involved in gangs. We're more harsh on our own people. Get me, my friend got um, stabbed. Wednesday? Died on the night. Was that the, the boy that got yeah, stabbed yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend Shaheen, man. Uh. He got, he got, and it's, it's all because of hype. It's like people ain't got no morals no more, man. Imagine you're getting dragged out of your car when your family member's there and you're in a traffic light and getting stabbed up. I, 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 this, this ain't Cali. What is it called? Is it Cali now? Is it California now? Look at that waste of two lives, son. Now the oh, youth's mother, youth's family who's in jail as well, they're feeling it. And I'm not condoning him for stabbing. I'm not sky, but I know in his heart of hearts he didn't mean to kill the youth. They stabbed him in his leg. It's not like he went AWOL and just started stabbing him in his neck and face and his chest and that. He stabbed him in his leg, just thinking, yo, which preps him and make him know I want my money? Or whatever the hell the argument was about. And they licked a main archery and now the youth's dead. Stab people, listen to me, your whole body's full of main archeries, isn't it? You hit somebody in the wrong place, you get me, you, you miss him. Let me show you something as well. Let me show you something. Hey. You know, the grave looks all nice and looks all pretty and nah, all. It's all nice and that. You have to understand. There's a youth lying in there that was alive like me and him, breathing and speaking, living. He's in there dead, like in a box, in a hole, in the ground. This life is gone. You know what I'm saying? It's gone. No, we're not gonna see you shy again. You get me? No one wants to come to the table and see what's really going on. Everyone's just making up what they think it's about, or I've heard this, I've heard that. No one ain't even being big man and saying, you know, I'm gonna go and see for myself. Only them geezers on the other side. So where do you want to come link you? Want to come link you now? What park? Oh, that park where they do the running and all that, where they used to do the relays. Oh, I'll come there now, I want to. 
go exactly. see him and then if yeah but he's a couple of people as well isn't it yeah but i mean what i don't i'm i'm really fed up with just going to people and they're going to turn the cameras off it's just a waste of time i won't say go with no camera yeah. i say go talk see what they're saying and then then see so if you can who is it he yeah, said he's with a couple of people what, like, zimbo yeah. yeah do you think it's worth it though it's whether you think it's worth it and i i go and see what he's saying mm. yeah okay so we'll give it a go then. Mm, no, I thought no. Mm. There's a carnival tomorrow. Yeah. And everyone's expecting um, for the carnival to be the same thing. We're gonna go there. A lot of black kids are gonna end up breaking up the carnival and wear to and we, we we don't wanna see that man. What do people think is gonna happen? Um they're gonna th people think they're gonna be gang fights, stuff like that. It's just another day in Hansworth or another day in Newtown or yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? It's just another day. So what 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 becomes terrible to you lot like, becomes every day to us. Carnival tomorrow and thing, you get me? Oh uh, gosh, yeah. Yo, yeah, 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 BBs playing around and yeah. Facebook channel. Yeah, 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 and hopefully it should run smoothly, but I guarantee tomorrow there's going to be at least one fight, one right. fight. Not yeah. even fight, right. shot's going to be yeah. busted. I know I can't just be a gunshot, bully! You know what I'm saying? Fingers crossed yeah. it's a nice day. It's already, it's already Everybody has fun. Because hands up his B21, Burger Bar side of town. There's, 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 there's rumours saying that the guys from the other side of town are going to come in and try and shoot up the place or try and get into it, or it's going to go off basically at a carnival, so that's a big worry for a lot of people. Madness, come to carnival with your trainers and a bulletproof vest. That's what's on Blackberry. Hopefully everything goes well, nice and peaceful. Have a lovely day. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere I go, I have these kids coming up to me asking me all these questions. Flash, you do this, Flash, give out the guns and Flash about the skill and Flash about this. Yes, left the gun. And that means I couldn't get involved in all gunfights. They're listening to me. I have a voice in it that they listen to, so let me hit make them hear the right things, innit? Guns and that, bruv, in real life, make sure you don't touch them, innit? Real talk, big and serious, like. But that's the only reason why um, Flash survived, because he didn't have the gun in it. He never got involved in the gunfight, because he didn't have a gun. He did, because the little boy, he gave the little boy the gun yeah. in there. And only left it, didn't he? And that's the only reason why Flash and him survived, because he couldn't get involved in all gunfight. You understand it? I say don't touch them, yeah? Hello? Hello there. Where can you see me? Hello, you're again now. Hey! Some madness just happened right now, bro. Yeah. yeah. One side of the park's been breached by a gang of people, so. Well, I was thinking, this is not going to work, you see. This is definitely, definitely not, not going to work. I was kind of sceptical. We needed something big to happen. But when it happened, I didn't expect it to be this. The violence broke out after a crowd of about 200 gathered outside the local police station to protest about the death of Mark Duggan, who was shot by police on Thursday. These are sickening scenes. Scenes of people looting, vandalising, thieving, robbing. Scenes of people attacking police officers. This is criminality, pure and simple, and it has to be confronted and defeated. It's crazy, man. Like I said, yeah, if a black person was to shoot a police officer, 
Look how quick that's going. That, look how quick that's getting dealt with. Now seriously, well, once one of theirs is down, first. look how quick that is going to get dealt with. They know who licked exactly. the man. Exactly. Like, they know already who licked the man. Look at that. That police here, they are their own gang. They're the biggest gang in the world. Yeah. And I can't see not one of them behind bars for killing this youth yet. Not one of them. All of this shit that we're keeping up is keeping us from the bigger picture. It's keeping us where we are. Let them, that's why they don't fuck with us. That's why they leave us in the hood. That's why we can do what we like when we're in the hood. Because it's just like yeah. our, our minds are occupied in it. So we can't think. So we're not thinking about the bigger agenda. We're thinking about the boy them, the, this man them, the, this man, and we're not thinking about what's really going on. Tell you we're getting conned lads. See, 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 like, We've see, been like, conned like, lads. See, see, so you understand see, it? Like, back a day when black men weren't allowed in pubs and weren't allowed to sit down and boss them. We weren't entitled to certain things. It's riots, you know, that made them things work, you know, blood. People standing up and saying, "Fuck this!" I'm mashing up the place. You can't be just out there widening out on a mad thing. Cause there is bigger things going on out there, like the bigger right, agenda. Right, right. Man, are running around getting TVs and that we should have been going. To the right, the bright people are making these people afraid, innit? Man, ain't rioting properly. We got some TV as looters. That's not a teeth in thing. That's to do with this geezer that died, just to show them, yeah, that it ain't no plating. You can't do things behind closed doors, and people are not having it. So I say, right, mash up the economy, mash up the businesses that are funding the police to do these things. Because without all the money that we're paying, they won't be able to have all these powerful big guns, so and that could have not cheap. To me, that's not going to work. You can't just go everywhere, just kick off doors, try and get your voice heard. Like, man, need to come at them more strategically. We've done, we've, we've been rioting, bro, for years, yeah, so man. And we still, we're still fucked. Yeah, yeah, a man had a link to a political person, and they could say that come from Tottenham, and could say, well, this is what it is. And him and this political person's on TV and they're having a debate or conversation, then it would have been a different look. But things just, man, ain't got no structure, or things are just, man, are just wilding out for impulses, rah! like we do. Yeah, well, and then think about when we're fucked know, later. The policeman killed the geezer. You don't need a spokesman to explain that what happened. Somebody needs to be saying we want fucking justice. Yeah, we need, we need somebody yeah. saying we want yeah, justice, bro. Have you seen man from the wood know what it is, man? Go for it. Anybody else is thinking, what's going on? They're probably thinking the black kid was teething in the first place. That's why you got licked down. They're not oh. even gonna hear the story because it's like they're just teeths. Man, I, man, I need to put themselves in positions of power. Man, I, like I says, we're too low in the food chain everywhere. How you, you get, understand? How you get power, blood? It's through violence, blood. Nah, and that's, that's how everyone that's, else that's, has got powerful blood. You have to use a bit of violence. Right, make them know you're not playing about. And then keep back. I had no idea the effects the rights would have on our peace movement. If anything would make things worse. Yeah, the police got by the club and so it looked like it might go down today. The police are fully bad enough. Yeah, the police are fully the writing because a black boy was killed by the police the earlier on in this week that's the real reason for the protest it's not like all of the like, teeth and stuff and that kind of thing yeah. yeah. that's the real cause behind anything but what type of like, it's not on tv yet but use that whole home all right yeah. Yeah. all right then take care now yeah. bye bye People end up coming together in riots. They have a common enemy. I think that's what kicks people's minds to think, hold on, forget fighting each other. People are holding us down, putting us in bad situations. So let's forget the bullshit. Let's stick together and fight. You know the cause of what, what what's to do, what, what's causing all of this? You know what, what's fueled all of this? I was that kid in it, he got shot or something. Um, I heard he got shot. I don't know what the real story is, but he got shot. And but you real. know what, before I act in off anything, yeah. I make sure I got the proper intel. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like I make sure that like 
you yeah, know what, I'm it. fighting for that real cause, and yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's no point fighting off the ESA. So, how do you officers feel about what's going on out here? They act like I'm not here. And this is the problem that we have in our community. When we speak to these people, they act like we're not here. So, once again, do you, have you got anything to say about this situation? Listen, or? Sir. We're not obliged to make any comment about what's happening here. If you want to get a comment from the police, you have to speak to the press office. You see, this is why the whole of the UK is erupting right now, that they're pissed, fed up of it, not having it no more. So as long as things remain the same, I can see things remaining the same out here. And I don't think these, me personally, I can see into all of these people's eyes and they look scared. There's only a little line of people. There's thousands of youths where I come from. And these thousands of youths are really ready to come out here and cause like a revolution because they'll understand we do have the power. So why didn't you join? Well, you know? I went town and it was, um, we couldn't get in town, it was blocked up. It was just mayhem in the middle of the road, loads of youths running around. I was in two mines, should I park up a walk around or... And I was parked up there for a bit. After that, I just got up and said, you know what, I don't... I'm not coming out to teeth now, and you know, the damage is done, that's what I want. Shit mashed up as well, yes. You had people just there standing protecting their shops, you know, just making it known that they don't take sides with black people, you know. That's what, no matter what happens day to day in daylight, they just made it known that they're not supporting it, they don't, they, they, they don't give a, they well, don't it's business their about shop. it. It's a little yeah. business, so why the wouldn't they? I'm on about um, the, whole, um, the whole criminal system, you know. At the end of the day, we're fighting for justice, you know, police, police brutality. Police take the piss with us, so we're fighting back. But because they don't go through that, they can kick back and say, well, everything's cool. But if Asians were getting trouble by police, you know, they would be pissed off as well. And that's why I say it's a trap, man. It's designed to, to keep us down and that. I'm hearing that shots have gone off in Aston and um, three Asians that dead yesterday. So I don't know what happened, all I know is that three people are passed and there's some Asians that are not too happy. You know, regardless whether that's going to escalate or not, I don't know, you know. Once you've got Asians and fucking Illuminati together, yeah, we've got no chance. So it's a race war now, it's no longer the shops we need to worry about. If it means it brings us together and we die together, then I'm down for that, you know. <laughs> Last night when I was driving past, I seen like loads of people outside, like little groups of Asian people outside their shops trying to like defend their shops, obviously, because people have been smashing youth in their shops. I hear some kids, somebody pulled up on the pavement and hit and um, run down three people and I've heard they died. If this turns into like a racial war, this is gonna be a it's a very it's gonna be serious out here. Very, 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 very serious out here. It's just stirred up a whole lot of stuff. So all this Burger Bar and Johnson's thing right now, it, 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 just, it looks as trivial as it is right now. Look at this particular incident. Yes, there is potential that the tensions will be heightened because of that, but there have been a whole succession of meetings amongst community leaders and the police. This is kind of messed up, man. It's gone too it's far. Greed, it's greed, it's Yeah, greed, and like I said, what is there to really teeth on this road? If you want to work, yeah. you got to work hard yeah, for it. Yeah, work hard. Like I said, you can't, there's nothing to teeth. But like, even if, even, if, even if you are a career criminal, what the hell are you going to teeth on a shop that's full of food shops? So you're going to yeah. teeth some burgers and chips. Ridiculous, what? Point, pointless, that pointless, is. Man. His family's in his discipline. Okay. Thank you so much, please. Right. Yeah. I know that the press okay. are here, but we need to do an investigation here now. Investigation, so why have I got to do an investigation? We're conducting a murder inquiry here at the moment. Um, OK, who do you that. represent? Thank you. We need to move away. Is it confidential? Yes, please. That's the director. That's what I said before you were speaking with him. I'm working, I'm, I'm at work at the moment, so you call your order. I'm good, I'm good. All right. Like I'm saying, so this is my point, like, because I'm black and I come and stood here, they want to question me. I had to explain to them that I'm at work and now they've let me go. So now they haven't got no questions from me. So how fucked up it is around here. You understand it? Fucked up. Yeah. They're asking me about because what? Because I got a baseball cap on in the chat and I don't look like because I haven't got because I'm not I'm not because I'm not white. Because they didn't ask you to come and speak and me and you came, we all came together. Do you understand it? I don't trust nothing out here, me personally. United we stand. 
divided before. Well, you understand? United we stand divided before. You see my hand in his hand. So we need to roll. Feel me? The hood is a very, very funny place. It changes like the weather. You understand it? Anything can happen, it just goes that way, goes this way. That's why it's hard. Like I said, that's why a lot of people go crazy down here because it is, it's not very stable. There's no stability around here at all. But right now, the truth is highly possible, highly likely. That's the truth. There was no gang activity during the riots. No burger bar, no Johnsons, no gang activity at all. Everyone came together. So yeah, you could call it a four-day truce. Yeah, everybody's on the same team. I mean, what can you expect when you see the advertisements for iPhone 4 every 15 minutes on your TV, then <laughs> what, what do you expect? You know what I mean? When we glorify the apps and the this and the that and the FaceTime, what do you expect? I think he must have seen the thing and thought, oh, everything's so sweet. <laughs> I don't know what they picked up to smash it, but they smashed the window and it came and thought, this is not criminals, these people are little kids. Like, like it's all madness what's going on right now. I don't know, I didn't know what to say because I'm just looking at the face. It's kind of it's kind of funny in it, really. When the lawmakers are the lawbreakers as well, you can't expect the everyday citizen to be, you know, conducting himself correctly. correctly when you know you see stories of corruption and you don't see any consequences to that. And the reason why these plays are, are so, you know, so appealing to young people because of the kind of things that we value, the kind of things that we promote and advertise out there. Yep, Waterstones untouched. Place that will be the most valuable to the people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, where all the knowledge is, where all the valuables really are. Right over there, Waterstones untouched. Not a window broken in sight. But yet still, cyber candy was there. <laughs> I mean, do, can you see there's something wrong with that picture there, people? If I don't come out of my house and come here, which is my family's place, I don't go nowhere else because I don't feel safe, mate. Mm. Yeah, the pitney are no bigger than my shoes and the pitney are run up and down and throw a brick pump for this one. I wanted to hear what the elders' thoughts was on the state of our community. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we've got a generation lost. And it's not a generation of black lads, it's a generation of youth. That is lost. They are completely lost to us, mate. And there's nothing we can do to get through to them. God, see no it. Catch like the it. damn picnic, take off no. your belt, swipe him two times and send him home to mama. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Carlos, if Carlos. people think so, that Carlos. is bad Carlos. and that is abusive, sod the that. latter, yeah? Sod your ass is bad, abusive. Mm -hmm. I put life into my kids. The government, the law, I would have backside them in front of the queen. <laughs> they can't tell me me can't do it. I will do it in front of the queen. If they want to lock me up after, that's fine. But you know something? None of my kids got involved in the riots None. because of what I've drummed into them. Yesterday we sat down and to some big men speak and they think it needs to be resolved with a beating. Look at the big youth. Now stand up next to me, please, so they can solve, so you can see this on the road. You can't beat these youths because they'll probably beat you. <laughs> Do you understand? It is there's, There has to be other measures and other ways to go around it. I'm not saying that they don't need discipline, you know, but I'm talking there's levels to beating them car. You can get a slap or somebody can find peace of this in the house and stop. Stop! And beat you to a pulp, you understand it? There's levels to it. A little slap, Shh. discipline, like picking up stuff and chairs, and I've seen people get beaten, like serious beatdowns, like, you have to know what we're doing, man. It says there's a lot, there's a lot to it. Like, the more I've analyzed this thing, we got a whole lot of problems within ourselves, and we want to blame the whole world, man. This is our own stuff out. And I've got the slight feeling that kids that have been beat are slightly more violent. I have that feeling. I'm not 100%, so you can't quote me on that, but I've got a feeling that the kids who are beaten are slightly more violent. And in my community and where I come from, beating is normal. What's happened to you? Yeah, like, see the other day, like Tuesday and that, I was nearby town and that, and then, like, some police see me in it, and they chased after me, so I started running in it. And they hide behind one car now, just dragged me from behind the car, just kicking me in my face, and they got me to the ground and just punched me in my head, and they were like, just kicking me in my ribs and that, and a rush, like, beating me up, really. How old are you? Uh, 16, so 16. And they put me in the cell for the night and that, saying so I had to come back in a month's time. But why did, why did they do that? Oh, no, like, it's a suspicion of me doing, like, writing and that, looting. And then that makes you feel like you want to get them back and yeah. do whatever, whatever. I hatred in my heart. I'd hated in my heart from a long time before them, you get me, but I just got it more now. 
So when I get them back, you know what I mean? Go to the police officers. Imagine I'm in distress. You Imagine I'm in distress. Noise. I've got a problem. I could have been called them into a problem. Remember I could have been, it could have been anything. There's some more right there. There's some more right there. They followed me all morning, they followed me to the shop, they asked me who, what am I doing, who's, 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 who's invested in this film to make this film. They're asking all sorts, all sorts of questions. Like, this is, this is how we're living around here, man. These people take them me. Born black, you're born a criminal. It's a crime in this country. <laughs> it's the biggest crime, bro. It's the biggest crime. Yes. Them again, them again. They don't want to stop. The police cut this morning, being pushed also follow me all morning, but now I come my camera. They don't want to stop and talk to me. They follow me around the whole hood, you know, dog. Baguette! You stop the camera off for seconds. Um, why? You want to speak? Can you knock the camera off on the speaker? Well, well, no, because I'm making a film. But what, what have we done wrong? Just ask, ask a few questions, that's all. But why? Why? Sorry? Why are you asking us questions? Why are you pointing a camera in my face? Well, I'm making a film. You came over to me. Oh, that's fine. Listen. What? Listen. Right, we'll close the door. What do we have to understand? No, we'll, we'll we haven't done right anything again. wrong, well, so why are you stopping listen, us? Listen. This is a free country in which I'm allowed sure. to be in a public place making a sure. film. Right, do you have a filming permit? Filming permit for what? So you're filming something. 15 minutes later, the police demanded all of our footage from Channel 4. They also sent emails asking community centres to report back on all of our activities. The police are saying that they're going to try and shut us down, Bridget. It's not even a thing that they're trying to descend and say right now they're going to try and lock us off because we're going to incite gang problems now. Bullshit. All of these people have been raped. Bullshit. That's the 190 million that you say they put into my community to help with these gangs and stop gangs and that's up lying to the people. Don't come. None of the, no gang member I know or gang member I spoke to knows any of you people, innit? So you're raping my community and keep raping us down and see what happens, innit? Putting our heart and soul into this system has been far from easy. Far from easy. It's kind of you know, more, and get me a nightmare. Isn't Most it? days we don't know which way we're gonna yeah. turn, but we just we've continued in it. Yeah. And like I said, the only reason what driving us is that a little bit of passion that's in there, and that's the only reason we're doing. Cause we could have just said, no, somebody's saying we can fuck it off. What? What's your point to start with here? I'm I'm pissed. That's all the reason I'm not happy in it. I'm not happy, so that's that in it. Where do you know me from? You don't know me, so you don't know me. You've never met me. Because I've done, because we're pissed in it, because you motherfuckers are killing people out here. You always know, I don't want to calm down, I'm upset. I, I'm, I'm upset like the rest of the country, if you haven't noticed. We're pissed, we are mad. Right now, we're upset. In it. Right now, you're killing people in it. Nah, we don't have to talk. Nah, we'll just start for the camera down. This is real life shit, isn't it? This is real life shit. You said Mr. Duffus, Mr. Dylan, like you know me. You're part of the same gang, innit? The same way, the same way, the same way everybody puts into the same category when it comes to us. The same way you lot all fit into yeah, yeah, the same yeah, category, point blank, yeah, yeah. period, innit? Yeah, yeah. We're guilty until proven innocent where we come from. This is this is what we go for as black young men, because this is normal everyday occurrence. This is why you're probably thinking, why is he behaving like that? If it happened to you every day, you'd behave like that as well. No, you have no idea. You, you are a question. foot soldier, so I refuse to speak to you unless you're a boss. Don't talk to me. You're not going out, man. What makes a race not come together with one order? And why do gangsters go jail before they find religion? If they stayed and listened, would they be still with us? No fate, then I die behind prison gates. Are we supposed to wait or just hate? A little joke that we had, you know, what's the difference between Aston and Handsworth? It's like Birchfield Road, <laughs> you know That's what I mean? A dual carriageway that runs down a dual the carriageway. You know what I mean? How? Lame, how shallow, how petty. Let's just hope that, you know, two weeks from now, that the focus doesn't change again. That after, the, you know, they've mashed up their community, after they've, you know, united, whether willingly or not, let's just hope that they look at that bigger picture and say to themselves, well, what are we really fighting each other for? Because my vulnerabilities are the same as yours. You know what I'm saying? My um, institutionalised racism experience are the same as yours. My lack of opportunity are the same as yours. You know what I mean? The only thing that's not the same is our postcode. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the only thing. Because this one lives in B6 and this one lives in B20, two opposite sides of Birchfield Road people. Come on. <laughs> Come on, do better.
After almost a year on his own, Shabba finally made a breakthrough. Obviously, I targeted like official people, you know, I tried to go to official people, people that had influence, people that had respect, and try and get them to see the picture. I had a meeting with the man them. There was about 30 men in the yard, in it? Yeah, people were arguing and that, voices were raised and that, the man's in there getting mad and, you know, it was, it was a lot of tension. And I can remember Sykes was in there just quiet, and he just didn't speak, he was just quiet the whole time, taking it all in. I was expecting Sykes to probably take their side, but well, he actually was on my side, you know. The gang thing don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Don't, it don't, I don't. Yeah. I can tell you now, innit? Gang thing don't make sense, man. We need yeah, to, from them people that we lose here, yeah, we need mm -hmm. to make, make a, a positive from it. Like in America, they do the memorials and that in the name of. Yes. Look at this. So this, that there, on the, on the gravestone, these are all my friends, you know. All my friends that's gone, you get me? For shit that started when, when my mum didn't even born. You get me? Because these are young man. May the rest in peace. May those brothers rest in peace. Absolute madness. I'm 26, the nine and a half years in jail. Don't make no sense, but you hear me? Don't make no sense. All that time as a youth getting sent to jail for madness. Okay, here's my, here's my hypothesis now. Firearms were made right here during the Industrial Revolution. Guns were made right here. And the guns that were made here in Birmingham were, were, were um, used to trade for African people to be taken to the Caribbean as slaves. And the youth who are involved in the gun crime are the very descendants of the Africans who were traded for guns that were made here. Yeah. The Industrial Revolution fueled the slave trade and the slave trade fueled the Industrial Revolution. It was a triangle of trade yeah. where goods were made right here as we, where we stand, as I said before, to trade for our ancestors. And hence why today Caribbean people have European surnames, including myself including these two gentlemen and all this is testimony to you know to the, to the to the grisly past of the european doing dodgy business and trading man we should um become intelligent enough to learn about what happened to us and thank god now that we're born in, a, in an era of opportunity and where there's laws here to protect us as black people we should take advantage of that if, if the youth them are going to join a gang i'll suggest you to join an academic gang join a, join an academic gang of bankers solicitors lawyers okay growing up yeah i ain't thinking about i ain't, i'm gonna be no gang with, yeah. with, with no bankers and that amongst, me, amongst ourselves i want to be with a man them in it i want to let p want to do this thing in it with man them in it you get me your friends who you grow up with that's, yeah. that's all it is you know that's all it is you know that can still happen your friends that, that can still happen fam i got i got love for my friends in it my yeah. older friends i will listen to them as yeah. older brothers, we are what we are, innit? Of course. You get me? We're a product mm. of our society. We, 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 we grew like this. This is what we are. We need to break free. Get the fuck up out of these chains. You sign the game, B. Mentally enslaving our brains. You think you change. In reality, you're still the same. Stuck in a game. Bitch made. Mentally enslaved. And that's life, nigga. You ain't Nogs did the same as well, you know, he come over and say, you know, it's true. It's true um, what you're doing and uh, I'm, I'm definitely down for it. Um, anything you need, I support it. And that's life, nigga. No one tells Nogs what to do, he does what he wants to do. So if Nogs wants to get on board, it's because Nogs wants to get on board. No fucking cops on the block, yeah. Undercovers. A true Muslim knows you can't harm me, brother. You know what I'm saying? You can't kill your brother with no, no bullshit, no, no gang-related bullshit. So if a man's a Muslim, and a man's a Muslim, and that's how it is, give me any beef that you had before that it's done with, gun, you fear law on it, and that's that. And is it a way in prison in which people have come together who previously out on the block might have been shooting each other? Yeah, because they've got time to sit down and read and contemplate and reflect and see what's what, innit? Yeah, that's true. They ain't got no time for no, wow. We ain't got nothing to do really in jail, then. Jail's jail. Lockdown. <laughs> Get me. When, why did Zimbo change his life? Kind of the, kind of the same thing. Man are getting older now. We've got kids in it. Can't be running around gunning down man all your life. So it's time for a change. And he could see the, um, the, the, the business side of it as well. Like, let's stop doing this here. Let's come together and let's do something. He has to show love to Shabba still, because he's done, he started this thing and he's getting it going. He's made it happen, hasn't it? Too late, too late for the youths to go. Mm -hmm. huh? Never too late. Never too late. <laughs> <laughs> Never too late. <laughs>
It's never too late to grow Cause I don't wanna feel the same no more And I don't wanna feel the Kicking same Kicking back, getting lost in my thoughts Thinking about the things I see And all the things I saw Heading down the wrong road And I couldn't change course Used to wanna be a G But now this G wants more Always in and out of court With my life in the hands of a judge Looking straight at me with hatred Cause I'm black and I'm young 18 and I'm going down for packing a gun Misled by my olders, I was slanging for funds Still attacking my lungs Weed smoke got me para Celebrity Known by everybody in the manner In this life I've never walked straight Only ever stagger Sober so I can't even blame the Bruce Banner Just like a weak bladder I was out of control My fate's in my own hands What was I never told? I'm living with no limit Limitless Now that I know It ain't never too late to grow Grow It's never too late to grow Question, isn't it? Yeah. You know I mean, is it, is it too late? Yeah. You know I mean, basically, yeah. question yourself and then you realize, isn't it? I, I, I wanted to put the message out there that basically it's not too late, isn't it? Never. It ain't never too late, innit? There's people, people that do shitty things all their life and then two, two, boom, they're inspired and their whole life changes, isn't it? I had a dream last night that I was back in prison. Bond that I'd rather die, so today I'm chilling. They're trying to watch us like clockwork. Mechanism. Give them the fingers up to show the fools that I can sit them. I see straight through the plain clothes. I ain't wanted, so I got no reason to lay low. I just wanna live my life good and raise low. But they don't wanna see that, so they're stopping my stage show. The roads are late, bro. So I'm trying to switch on my career. And I did this for Danao and Kia. That is here, yo. This is one to let the old world know. It ain't never too late to grow. My niggas have never showed man the right shit. Exactly. For my, for my generation growing up, yeah, everybody wanted a name. If you never had a name, yeah, that means you're an idiot, innit? <laughs> That's it, innit? You either somebody or you're nobody, blood. You get me? Whereas now, I, I, can, I can stand up and, and prevent things, you get me? I can say, yo, listen, louder. Yeah, yeah, you get me? Yeah, 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 louder, yeah. That's gas. I talk to the youth all the time, you get me? Louder gang team, but it's dumb. Don't make no sense. You're, gonna get, get money, you're not going to get nowhere from it. My little cousin is dead. And you know, he's, he's paid, he paid, he paid the maximum penalty in it. I kind of blame myself sometimes as well because he's following me in it. He's following me. I'm the oldest cousin here. I'm the oldest out of a lot of us, basically. So obviously, it's like when I do certain things, then the the rest follow in it. It's never too late to grow. I sit down in like the studio and like I'm sitting down in the studio with the so-called Wyden. So was that the first time you'd ever been in a room with uh, some Johnsons? Yeah, at first I'm not gonna lie, I sat down in the room and I was a bit uneasy. I'm not as well to give you 100, I had to sit down and think, so hold on, is, this, is everything really cool here? And I might have come over and firm me and everything was kind of relaxed. It was an experience. And you see things straight. And just to realise, hold on, it's just like me and it. Yeah. Talk the same, to think the same. Not my enemy, these guys ain't my enemy, but that was kind of like another wake up call, like, come on. This is so, this is so trivial, so foolish, it's unbelievable. This is how it's supposed to be. And that's kind of how, I, that's the dream now, innit? To make it always like that. Just, that's how they're supposed to live, innit? Together. My dog in it. That's what I was just about to say. My dog in it. Going from another mother's dog. Understand it? That's really like that, innit? So, so that's just what it is. So soon, so no more, innit? The real brother, innit? Shabba, the Shabba, innit? Like I said, he is. He just take him as he comes, innit? That's the name. There's no, there's no, there's nothing more to it. There's just Shabba. I can't, I can't complain on that. It's not exactly the truth that we wanted, you know, to kind of make history and that have some form of truth bring people together. But it's still a way of 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 bringing people together. You know, we got man to man the soundtrack, we got a yeah, man in the same studio, we got people talking, you know, so it is progress. Come a long way, started, I'm actually can look and say I'm living good, you know. For once I'm living good. I've got to like analyse myself well, a lot of the stuff like I've been through or grown up and kind of analyse the whole situation, come to realise it isn't everybody because everybody's always blaming each other and whatnot. You have to blame yourself, man. But this is your life, so you have to live it and I have to be all I can be. <clears throat> Understand it, and it, and that's that's got, that's what I've learned. Because I've, like I said, I've watched a lot of people spend a lot of time saying, oh, "It's this person we're blaming, that person we're blaming, this person." And, and when I wake up in the morning, I do what I want to do, and 
So when I wake up in the morning, whatever I do, <laughs> is that's, that's the life I'm going to be living in it. So it's my decision, my choice. So me, I'm going to try and do the right thing. In your head, you got the keys to the chains. Free my man. We riders, move silent. Take time out the hold of any silence. You claim you got the power in your hands. You got the keys to the chains. Free my man. We riders, move silent. Take time out the hold of any silence. Okay, now that you've all watched the movie, we want to know your opinions. You agree with what we're doing? Do you agree with what Shabba done? Do you agree with me what I did? Do you agree with what Zimbo's doing? Do you understand it? Any questions you want to ask, hit us up on the Facebook or www.onemileaway.co.uk or you can hit us up on the Twitter or the Facebook page. Twitter, Any One Mile Away UK. And Facebook, just Facebook One Mile Away. Hit us up. Any questions you want to ask about the film, anything you want to know, hit us up. Any issues you want to deal with in your community? Any issues you got? Personally, hit us up in it. The real, the, the real know best. If you got some young men that need some advice from us, send them our way and we'll try and talk to them. Alright, thank you.